Horace was weak. Horace was a fool. These are the words uttered by First Captain Abaddon. Whether it was out of ignorance or naivety, I cannot say. But I must ask the question. Was it First Captain Abaddon who ended the Great Crusade and saw the backs of the loyal legions crushed on the black sands of Iskvan? Was it First Captain Abaddon who made the Imperium burn in fire and death? Was it First Captain Abaddon who made terror itself burn? Who slew, was it First Captain Abaddon who slew the angel Sanguinius and cast the Emperor to a throne of gold as nothing more but a corpse? No, Horus, the true Horus, the true war master of the chaos. It was his actions, by his hand, that the Imperium burned. For ten thousand years, Captain Abaddon has failed to break out of the Eye of Terror. It took the, the destruction of his legion itself on the black water of Cadia to, to escape the Eye of Terror, to escape our chaotic prison. Ten thousand years it took Abaddon to take the first step, where it took only seven years for War Master Horus to destroy the Imperium itself. Ha! Huh. Abaddon may call himself the War Master. But he is little more than a pawn. To me, he is little more than First Captain Abaddon. And I will never, ever follow him into battle. For his ignorance and his weakness are pathetic. Ah, uh, hello everybody. Yes, if you haven't been paying attention, and I guess you wouldn't, I've been recently reading Black Legion. And I kind of fought up with that speech in the back of my head just before I started this video. Yes, hello everyone to Battlefleet Gothic Armada with chaos. Yay! <sighs> I've been feeling like a real bit of a chaosy mood because oh, I'm fighting other chaos. Neat. Because I'm kind of in the an interesting period at the moment. Ah, oh, it's always nice being. Uh, Oh, we don't want a level 2 ship. Um, oh, we're fighting... We don't want a bunch of level 1 ships. Okay, we, I haven't played this in a while. Yes, yeah, so I've been having fun times. I have work. I've got environmental management essays to write, which are as boring as they sound. It's always amusing. Um, right. Well, we should bring some of the new ships, I reckon, probably. Um, to level them up a bit, I suppose. Uh, yeah. This is a chaos fleet. A fleet worthy of bringing the skies of fire uh, to our enemies. Uh, but yes, no, it's been a little while since I played this, actually. It was what made me think about playing it again, was the fact I saw a friend of mine playing it. And I was like, oh yeah, Battlefleet Gothic, I haven't played that in a while. So here we are. I still haven't... I should play as Chapter Master too at some point. I want to play as the Black Templars because I've... Um, after reading Black Legion, I was kind of got more interested in the Black Templars again. I kind I like Sigismund as a character. I think he's... I think he's a cool guy. Uh, now we have a shirt load... I should have taken more ships actually. No matter. Right. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. All ships move forward. This is good. I like this. Um, disengage auto attack. Side on. Six thousand. Six thousand kilometers range. As for you guys, move over here. You two ship. Yep, that's fine. Go. Right. Well, the scanners only have three ships, so I'm imagining one of them is a battleship and two cruisers. A battleship and two cruisers. I would imagine... I'd imagine one of these two to be a battleship. So, that's why we will move in to engage. 
We'll have our ships rip into them. Ah. Uh, and our little escort ships will burn their way through. Right. Oh, that's the... Oh. Chaos ships. What? Oh. Disappeared into the warp cloud. We can't identify them. Oh! What, for, what marking are they? Uh, I think they're corn aligned. Right, okay. Now, we go Slanef. We go Lightning Strike. We go Rock Fire. Oops, that was the wrong one. No matter. We go Slanef. We go... Yes! Let the galaxy burn! Right. Oh, that was a bit of back sass, wasn't it? Assholes. Alright. Shields. Right. Act boosts fire. Ooh, we're getting peppered by assholes and answers. Right. Burn that ship. Cast it out into the void. Disengage auto attack. 3,000 kilometers range. Good. Have I lost any ships? No. That's good. Alright. Right. Burn. Boost forward. Brace for impact. Brace for impact. Alright. Although I actually... <laughs> I don't think I'm acting like a true Chaos Admiral, am I? I should be yelling out, um, yelling out in obscenities and evil oaths and battle cries and stuff. Although, one of the interesting characterizations that I quite like, not just the Black Legion, the Black Legion series at the moment, but um, of the Tel the Night Lords omnibus, is I kind of like the personification of Chaos Marines. Um, where they actually are, people do remember that they are actually 10,000 year old veterans. Well, you know what I mean. Um, you know, they are veterans of the Great Crusade, a lot of them, and the heresy, so they should be actual trained warriors. I kind of, I think that's a logical action to have. Burn that ship, cast it out into the bloody void, you asshole idiots. In fact, you two go burn this one. You activate lances, blow it up. There you go. Now, move forward. You two ships, get out of here. You two ships, what are you doing with your thumbs up your ass? God, do I have to do everything myself? I know I disabled auto attack, but that's because auto attack is stupid. But I don't expect you to sit around while you're getting shot at by lance fire all day, do I? Well, naturally, the lightning strike failed. Lightning strike, bombers, um, disengage auto attack. There you go, idiot. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Okay, you two are really dumb. Go over there. In fact, just fly over there, you idiot ships. I, under, I appreciate both of you have the mark of Slanef, and you're probably busy jerking off in the corner. But you really need to get off your ass and go over and help the other ships. How do you think we're going? How far do you think we're going to fare against Imperial ships if you can't even fight other pathetic traitor warbands with this level of idiocy? Seriously, Dumbos. Oh, fuck you. We'll follow your command for now. Really? Really? Suckers. Activated him. And Vector. Activated indestructible void shields. Justin for that occasion. Suck it. Both of you can have some Slaneffy marks. Alright. Get out of here. As for you lot. Destroy them. 
Get out of here. You actually rammed it. I didn't ask you to ram it. You Were you just that enthusiastic? Were you that enthusiastic about ramming another ship, were you? God, why do I even hire Slaneth ships into my fleet? I can never trust them. Always bloody unreliable. Right, shoot them. Oh, we lost one. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, one of them escaped. Neat. Well, that was cool. Well, I think the message of that is Slaneth ships um, you need to watch out for. Ooh, battlecruiser. Yay. So the Nerf ships you really need to micromanage, because um, they cannot be trusted. And that, surprisingly, even taking low-ranked ships like that, I ended up winning. Yay! Oh, my... Oh, my battleship player pulled up. Neat. Area of effect attacks inflict twice their damage to escort ships. Now, space marine ships... Oh. Yay! Um. Um. Hmm. See, I don't usually retreat too many of my ships, the thing for navigators. And it's not really a much of a boarding ship. I'm going to go with Slaves, because A, it's a Slane F ship, and I think that fits. And B, because I think cooldown's always good. Um, oh, you seem to be my fire, a firepower-orientated ship. Chaos Accuracy. Right, you have Macro Cannons, Lance Turret, and Heavy Prow Lancers. So you're orientated for Lance Fire. So we'll upgrade you with Refined Lancers, so you can um, suit that unique predicament. I can't believe there's Slaneffy ships in this warband. What have I become? I must admit, I do like the... the what warband is my ship? Oh, Black Legion. Um, it should be undivided, shouldn't it? Actually, I prefer Black Legion colours. The black just looks better. Right, to battle! <clears throat> I am Alexis Corvo. Uh, Captain of the Sons of Horus. I was actually tra charting out a Chaos warband... Oh, I'm fighting Chaos again. A Chaos Warband fleet. Um, I was having a bit of fun with it, I'll be honest. It was kind of kind of interesting. It was... What was the... F oh, yeah. I was going to create a Chaos Warband, which was based around a company of Sons of Horus that um, continued to be Sons of Horus. Like, they refused to join the Black Legion and ended up fleeing to the Maelstorm, um, which is, you know, her and Blackheart's domain. I might have had a bit of fun with them, I must admit. Crafting all the captains and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to deploy in a two-pronged... Actually, the battleship does seem to be valuable when it's left by itself. I have noticed that. And it's better to alternate... To alternate firepower. Right, this is... Lance turret, super heavy prowl lances, and heavy macro cannon battery. I'd like to keep that forward firing because of the lances. This is my new cruiser that I've just upgraded with the Lance Weaponry. This is a ship fitted out with mac Twin Link Batteries Macro Cannons. So it's got Macro Cannons. And this ship, Ordnance Launch Bay. Right. Six enemy ships. Okay, so we're going to deal with a ha dealing with a handful of escorts, maybe a few heavy cruisers. Right. Now, I seem to have two Slanefi ships again. I, Interesting considering I hate Slanef. Why did I make these Slanefi ships? Oh, Cult of Torment. Okay, I guess I couldn't really not. Worshipper of Ecstasy. Okay, I guess I could not at that point. The Scream of Decay. No wonder I named that a Nurgle ship. That's an awesome name for a Nurgle fleet. The Son of Persecution. That sounds like a cool book. Cool ship name. Mm, interesting. Well. I guess the battle fleet will carry on outwards. See, their, their fleet's divided. 
which means they're going to have to come into the battle, but it also means they can outflank me. I have my firepower concentrated. My firepower concentrated so I can deal with enemy threats as they arrive. What's the range of... Well, I guess my lancers have a decent range. Ah, uh, that was always going to happen. Boost out of the way. Boost out of the way. Rocking fire. Boarding teams. Um, we're going to jump you down to 6,000 kilometers. Engage bombers on that ship there. Activate auto repairs. Lock fire. Lightning strike on that ship. Nice. Burn these ships out, inside out. It seems my fleet is engaging in a bit of, uh, what would we call it? Internal squabbles, rather than dealing with ca the enemies as they arise. We seem to be not prioritizing Imperial fleets at the moment. I suppose that's alright. Now, the battleship can happily, merrily pick away at that. As for you idiots, I really need to up your, your visual sightline ranges because you have the freaking sightline ranges of a sack of frogs. Right, now you. You engage that, activate shields. Go to regular attack. You lost all your air, your special abilities because you suck. Um, and it looks like it's going to be up to this ship to deal with the heavy, heavy fighting. Battleship. Um, I would very much appreciate if you burn that ship out of the void with your freaking lance count batteries because you have shitloads of good lances because I've upgraded them. Also, I kind of have a hard-on for lances in this game. Freaking lances are awesome. I freaking love lances in this game. Right, um, actually, I suppose that was because originally with, like, with pre-patches, lances were hideously overpowered. I mean... In Chaos, I'd take six escort ships with lances, and you'd just rip apart battleships. Like, everything would just be hacked to bits. And then if you activated um, Lock-On, which refined critical hit damage by 300% in the early game for lances, holy crap, ships would just be hacked to bits. It was great. Oh, battleship. Well, you can engage fire with that, I suppose. And you can have Bomber Squadron. You can activate forward firing shields. And we can just leave you merrily pick away at those. You two can take care of that. Lock on fire. Um, you can use boarding pods. Oh, boarding success. Chaos Bomber Squadron. What about you? You are engaging fire with that ship there. Uh, the fact you haven't blown it up yet, I find, find a bit sad, but no matter. Good, I would consider that a success. Keep doing it. As for you, keep blowing them up. You, really? We're going to back you up to 12,000 kilometers range and get you the frick out of here. You're going to move into close range and keep firing. Why is, why is my battleship having so much trouble dealing with this freaking... A light cruiser, I consider this an insult. I'm going to have you sacked as a commander because of crap like this. I'm not going to execute you actually because, believe it or not, I was when you escaped, I was going to have you escape do, doing that anyway. Activate shield. Oh, bugger, I misplaced the shield recharger. No matter. Right, go assist your freaking commanders out there. Good. Battleship. Nice. Now blow that up. Sure. Trust it to the Nurgle ships to do it the right way. They're slow and laborious, but they do it the right way. Alright, as for you... Really? Man, those refined lances, those long-range lances are friggin' kick-ass. Whoa! Like, even from this far away, it's neat. I love lances. Fire again. Yeah! Ah... Uh. We should probably turn you out of the way and have you blast out of the way of that bomb. There you go. Activate the bombs. Whoa! That was a bit of um, bit of ramming ability. 
It would do you great wonders if you would, one of you two, would blow that up, if you would, please. For final answers. Seriously, fire! Blow it up. Somebody. There you go. Also, it seems like I'm doing the Imperium's job for it at the moment, just killing other Chaos Warbands. Maybe we should fight Imperials. I don't know. But I suppose the Long War is a bit overrated. <sighs> Neat. Ooh, we got level ups. Alright. And that, oh, orc ships are really weak from, nah. You know, we're going to upgrade you with a Dark Navigator, because the fact you're lost in the warp, I think, speaks for itself. Um, hmm. Uh, I would like to do that, I think. Now, you seem to be fitted out. One, you have maneuver gauge, thrusters, extra turrets. Why have you got extra defense turrets? What is that supposed to accomplish? If you have extra armor for a start, and if you're so adamant on using, yeah, you can use special orders. I think that's a a better use of your abilities. Alright, we'll play one more round, because usually these videos are free rounds. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Elder. Hmm. I guess we are very not to get dedicated to the Long War. In fact, we are so undedicated to the Long War that we'd rather not fight it. Is this how much we hate Abaddon? Is this because Abaddon's an asshole? Are we just like, no, we're not helping him. He smells like poo. Oh, uh, Lexus Corvo, you are a strange, strange chaos commander. Still, we get to bring our fancy Nurgly ship. Uh, two fancy Nurgly ships. Actually, there's two Nurgle ships and two Slanef ships. This is a weird combination. Right, um... How do I want to run it? Battleship, escort, and a gunner. No, I'm going to run heavy ships all as one go. Um, you're going to be 6,000 kilometers forward firing. You are going to be... Now, for Eldar, we need to get into their face because their pulsars will rip us apart and we need to use boarding actions and torpedoes and all these sort of fancy good things. Now you need to go forward by Ready. Right, five ships to destroy. Same as us. Show us something to kill. Well, I'm going to show you something to kill, but you're going to move into the middle of the f middle of the field. And you're going to show off into the middle of the field as well. Right, now. I'm going to send the beacon out. Well, that's nice. Um, we, I only packed one beacon. Oh. Man, this Chaos Fleet is really weird, because I created it when the game was first came out, and it was, and everything was well, unpatched, you know. The lances were overpowered, Nova Cannons were hideously overpowered, and stuff like that. And there's still a lot of old design, like, old fleet decisions that now, pre-patch, I don't understand. I'm like, so why am I adding disruption bombs to a light, to a medium cruiser? Why have I... Um, fitted out my battleship with Nurgle. Why did I fit this out with Slanef? Although the Nurgle thing has actually been really handy, I must admit. Right. Oh. Well. Did they hit into a minefield? Intriguing. Pull away. Pull away. Pull away. Pull away. Right, now, first thing, we launch Chaos Assault Boat. Second, you are the runty f sh first ship in the fleet. Hey, you know what? You two are going to get it, going to go forward engagement. You know what? I'm 
I have trust in you. Right, bell tower destroyed. First volley of lancers, good firing. Right. Lock on firing. Disruption bomb. In fact, we're going to send the Mark of Slaneth over to them. Because if there's anything that Eldar love, it's the Mark of Slaneth. Right, as for you guys, you're going to... No, not you. Battleship, you engage that. I'm talking to my light ship. You engage that. Did I already lose the escort? Wow. Oh, we are just cutting these guys into pieces, aren't we? Burn them all. Ah, salt boats. Man, we... These guys... <laughs> Eldar do not do well when they are grouped together. Do not group Eldar ships together. Oh, this is fun. Actually, one well, another thing Eldar ships are really vulnerable to... <laughs> ...is ramming. Suck it, Eldar. Suck it. Suck it, suck it, suck it. I lost one escort this battle. That's all I've lost. One escort. Wow. A meaningless escort vessel. Something that I can replace on my next raid into real space. Na 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 Look at these waves of freaking assault boats coming to this ship. They are stuffed. Ah, oh, brace for impact, lightning strike. Boom. Na 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 na. Suck it, Elder. Oh, that was fun. Sometimes there's nothing like a perfectly executed battle. To get the spirits up. Ah, uh, and all of my ships are, are really high levels now. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, I don't know. I don't really feel like playing another round. Maybe I'll just end this video here. Alright then, guys. Well, that was actually a bit of fun. I enjoyed that. Maybe next time I'll go back to playing as Imperials. But until then, goodbye.